we're trying to do here is have the horses take one or two bites, preferably to have six inches left of residue so that we don't graze our plants down to the ground like this poor bunch of plants is almost completely gone. Now it's going to take to put the same amount of inches of growth, it will take this plant exponentially longer than this one. This plant in about a week of rest will probably be back up to here at this time of year because it's the fast time of growing. It's April, it's spring in the northern hemisphere of Virginia. Um, this plant to grow the same four, five, six inches, it's going to really struggle. And I'm going to count how many leaves we're at on this plant. So this plant is quite tall, but if you count, it only has three leaves. It's just beginning its third leaf stage. So it's not the height of the plant, it's how many leaves the plant has. And you want to graze it. You want ideally to have four leaves when you graze it. You can graze it at three, but um, you're very apt to overgraze it if you wait, if you only graze it at third leaf. And because this is only beginning the third leaf, it's too early to graze it yet. So you might look at this plant and say, oh, it's healthy, it's great, but until it's had four leaves, you don't have enough leaf material to take the top off and have enough leaf material left to recharge the roots. So I'm sitting here in an area that has been recovering, has been grazed and recovering for about three to four weeks. And I wanted to show you the differences of just what putting up a fence can do in your field. Um, now your field may have been further behind than this one when it was rested, but we'll teach you the skills so that you can get to this point of having this much forage in your fields if you do not have fields that look like this. So this area is part of the track and the horses have been left to walk on it and graze it as much as they want. And um, it was rested a small amount of weeks, maybe two to three weeks, uh, but now we've had to allow them access to it in order to get to the shed. So the same species are over there. There's clovers, there's grasses, there's weeds, but they've been grazed down just almost to the growing point. Any more on this plant would kill it. And over here, that plant, if you rest it and put up a fence, can come back. Now, at this time of year, it's the fast time of growing. So these plants are putting on up to inches a day of leaf. But other times of the year, it's slow growing it will take them longer to recover. What I wanted to show you was a little bit about species composition here and the rest period that you'll be creating with your fences will allow a more variety of species to germinate. 